Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Daily Financial Outlook. Stay with us for more market headlines. India's oil imports from Russia rose to a record of about 2.1 million barrels a day in May, as discounts for Russian oil widened on lower demand from China. That boosted Russia's share in the world's third largest importer and consumer to nearly 41% last month. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq closed marginally lower to end last week, weighed down by a decline in Nvidia shares for a second straight day, which dragged down the technology sector. Technology, the biggest loser among the 11 major S&P 500 sectors, down 0.84%, while communication services led the gain. A gauge of global stocks declined for a second straight session on Friday, weighed down by weakness in technology shares, while the dollar hit its highest level since early May, as a gauge of US business activity edged up to a more than two-year high. The pound-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. According to the CCI, we are in an oversold market. The Bitcoin dollar pair fell 0.9% in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The euro dollar price remained largely unchanged in the last session. The ROC is giving a positive signal. The oil dropped 0.7% against the dollar in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an overbought market. The U.S. Chicago Fed National Activity Index will be released at 12.30 GMT. The U.S. Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index at 14.30 GMT. The Eurozone's Eurogroup meeting at 7 GMT. Germany's IFO, Business Climate, will be released at 8 GMT. Japan's CFTC, JPY, NC Net Positions at 19.30 GMT. The UK's CFTC GBP NC net positions at 19.30 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.